Hey Libra, welcome to Sunshine Haze. This video is for Libra Sun, Libra Moon, or Libra Rising, or and Libra Rising. Um, so if you don't feel like what I'm saying in the video is resonating with you, go on and check out your Moon or Rising sign. I have a link down in the description box uh, below um, to all the tarot forecasts for this new moon in Aquarius. So with that being said, this uh, spread is a quick five card spread and it's going to be looking at the energy coming in for you with this new lunar cycle looking at what's actually coming in for you, um, anything that may be a challenge for you. Um, and then because Aquarius is a sign that is associated with the collective, we're gonna be looking at you, Libra, in regards to the collective or your community. And then I always do like a little soul message, higher self spirit advice card. So I will definitely have one of those in this spread. So let's get started. Ooh, so the will of fortune and the world. Okay, Libra. And then the devil. So I wonder. <laughs> Let me just shuffle. All right. Before I get started, I would just like to thank everybody that has been watching my videos. I really appreciate you and thanks for sharing them and subscribing. Um, I'm still very kind of in shock at how quickly this channel is growing and how much you guys really rock with um, the content that I put out. Um, I am going to do another Eclipse uh, sale. I did $10 Eclipse readings. You guys like those. So I will have that running for the next few days. Just go on and send an email to sunshinehaze1129 at gmail.com if you're interested in booking one of those. I also offer uh, general readings or love readings or whatever it is that you um, are interested in. Definitely just shoot me an email and we, we can talk and figure something out for you. Alrighty. Let's go on and finish shuffling these cards for you, Libra. Is in store for Libra Sun, Libra Moon, and Libra Rising for this new moon in Aquarius. the deck for you. Alright, let's see what's popping for this new moon in Aquarius for you, Libra. Let's see what's the energy. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Couple aces. So lots of new new phases for you, Libra. Hmm, inevitable changes in your life. These are good changes though. And um, as you guys know, if you've been watching and if you don't, I will pull these cards up to the top of the screen for you so you can see them momentarily, all right? Hmm. Well, <laughs> this is just pretty crystal clear. Okay, Libra. Where are you at? What's the energy for this new moon in Aquarius? Got the Ace of Cups here. So as you guys know, the new moon in Aquarius just means we're starting a new lunar cycle. And the last lunar cycle we had was in Capricorn. That doesn't mean that the moon stayed in Capricorn the whole time. It just began in that sign. It began in that sign, and that's kind of the air energy that we carried through it. So this new moon in Aquarius, we're dealing with Aquarian energy. And we're going to be dealing with this energy for the next few weeks. Um, well, we've been dealing with the energy, but the new moon in Aquarius, this lunar cycle lasts for the next few weeks. Um, so you may be feeling this energy throughout. And then in some cases, it's very, very, very powerful, very prominent during actually during the new moon and during the shadow of the new moon. So it may be going on for you now. But that Ace of Cups um, actually points to, generally speaking, just a new phase, a new cycle, um, something that you are just very emotionally invested in. Um, it's a cups deal with creativity, family, they deal with love. So if we're think this is a general spread, but if we're going to talk about love here, that ace of cups, this is, this is literally the card of the new beginning of love. So very possible that you may have some new 
romantic situations coming in for you, Libra, within these next few weeks, okay? The next card we have in the spread is what is crossing you? What may be a challenge? What are you worried about? I've got the Ace of Swords here. So this is not very interesting because it makes a lot of sense. If you have this new love coming in or this new cycle, this new phase coming in, it it's completely understandable that your thoughts may be all over the place. So you, the Ace of Swords literally points to clarity or um, the truth. So with this crossing you, probably means that you'll be dealing with a little bit of confusion about this new thing or new love that's coming in for you. You may be like, oh my gosh, what do I do? Uh, I don't know about this or, <laughs> or something of the sort. And that's what the Ace of Swords crossing you is pointing to, all right? The next card we have in the spread for you, Libra, is what is actually coming in for you. This is um, becoming one of my favorite cards. Um, it is from my favorite suit. Even though I'm a water sign, I like the pinnacle suit the most because when I think of the pinnacles cards, I think of money. Um, but I'm also a rising earth sign, so maybe that's why I feel so <laughs> strongly connected to the earth suit and the tarot. No, I don't know. I just like money. Um, so you got the two of uh, pinnacles here. And all of the two cards in the deck have to do with decisions and making change. And the two of pentacles points to balance and actually coming to a point where you have a pretty clear vision, a good grasp on what's going on or what's about to go down. So the Ace of Swords in this spread crossing you with this Ace of Cups, this new, um, this new phase, this new opportunity, this new love. The confusion that you have surrounding it, you have this two of pentacles coming up in the spread for you. So that actually just means that even if you are confused or even if you are like a little hesitant about what's going on, this ace of cups is kind of inevitable for you. The two of pentacles is a card that points to um, inevitable change. So whatever is coming in for you is not really something that you can avoid and it's not something that you're going to be able to change. You may be able to, you know, alter a few things with some of the actions that you may take. However... The end result is you've got to make this change. It's coming in for you and it doesn't really matter what, whether you want it or not, <laughs> to be completely honest, Libra. So the second card, I'm sorry, the third, not the third card either, the fourth card that I have in the spread, and this has been like this for all of the uh, forecasts that I've done for this new moon in Aquarius is this card is tying into what's coming in for you, but um, it's in the position of how you should... Uh, work with the collective or how you should be in regards to your community so you've got the sun this is one of uh, you got a lot of good cards in here but this is one of my actually really really one of my favorite cards i love seeing the sun come out it's very very high energy card very positive energy card so i'm gonna interpret it for you guys on two different fronts so the first one we're gonna tie it into the two of pentacles there so with you having this new change coming in the sun is kind of popping up to show you like hey this new change is going to be something that just illuminates the your life for uh, your life pretty much. Um, the sun is coming in and shining light on the changes that you need to make. Um, and then in another sense, if we're talking about literally in respect to the collective, to your community, how should you be, Libra? What should you be doing? I believe in your forecast for the year, you guys got something about being mentors to people or being enlightened and having and being put in a position to share what you're learning with people. So this sun is kind of popping up to remind you about that, saying, hey, if we're going to work with people, if you're going to do anything with the collective, with the community, with the group, you should actually be shining your light on people. Share your knowledge. Uh, drop some knowledge on people. Let them know what you know, especially if it's something that you're learning and is helping you move along in life and is something that is helping you make positive changes within your life. I would say definitely go on and... Spread the wealth in terms of your spiritual abundance, okay, Libra? And then the last card that we have popping up for you here is not my favorite card. This is the uh, Eight of Swords. Sorry, I wear glasses that I have lost for a very long time, and I need to get my eyes checked again. So <laughs> that's the card. <laughs> um... This card is coming up in your soul message, your higher spirit advice card. 
Um, and what I'm picking up for this is this new phase coming in for you, Libra. You guys like to weigh things out. You guys are the scale. You like to weigh out all the possibilities, all the opportunities, the good and the bad, the pros and the cons. Um, what's coming in for you is coming in for you within this new lunar cycle. So it's coming in pretty quick, guys, which means that you can't really run away from it. You don't really have time to balance out everything in this situation. So what you may tend to do in response to that is turn around and go, oh, well, I'm just going to go within myself because I don't know what all of these possibilities are and they could possibly, you know, turn out to be negative. No, Libra, this card is uh, just a little message to you to say, hey, stay open, stay positive, stay positive because something new is coming in for you, even though you may not see it for all that it is, it is right now. It's something new. It's something good for you. And it's something that has to, to change in your life. So keep yourself together, Libra. You guys will be fine. Um, I say this in a lot of my videos. Do whatever you can to bring you to your inner peace. Get you back to your zen. If you meditate, meditate. If you're physical, go play some sports. Get in the gym. If you're an artistic individual, go do some creative stuff. Paint a picture, you know, write a song or something. Um, I hope this spread resonated with you guys. Uh, if it did and you want a little more clarity or you want some more information, as I said earlier, I do offer personal readings. Send an email to sunshinehaze1129 at gmail.com. I do still have that eclipse, re uh, eclipse sale, $10 eclipse sale going on as well. Um, if you guys like the video, go on and hit that little thumbs up button for me. If you want to drop a comment or have any questions, go on and do that below. I hop on this channel pretty much every day, so I will most likely respond to you or at least hit the little heart button for your comment, okay? Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so, especially if you like my tarot videos. I also put up videos about other, you know, cosmic events going on, um, some hair videos. I'm going to be putting up a few other things within the next few weeks here so go on and subscribe hit the little notifications bell if you are interested in really knowing when i put things up especially these tarot forecasts and uh, check out the links down in the description box to my other videos they um, kind of tie in with your spread and the information that i gave you guys here today okay and thank you again for watching i'll see you guys next time